What's going on, you guys? Dakota Leachman from Houston, Texas. Uh, I went to high school at Tomball, Texas. Uh, Tomball High School, you know, go kooks. Uh, this is Trimmin' Upholstery. This is the best class at Wild Tech, hands down. So these are our sewing machines. You know, this is the only place that we can take off our safety glasses because you really can't sew with these on. Um, yeah, brand new machines, state of the art. Um, a lot of people really don't have the privilege to work on these machines. I mean, it's something really special. And especially having music, it's really a relaxed environment. It's not as noisy as diesel. Um, this is where the majority of the work's spent, especially in first phase. Um, you're learning how to sew a straight line with 3 8 seam allowance. It sounds a lot easier than it is. Um, yeah, you can see Lucas, he's working on his, his headrest right now. Um, and then over here we have our cutting tables. We actually have a finished project, um, some diamond stitch back seats, diamond stitch inserts. It's very nice. Yeah, you might want to get a close-up on this. This is some really good work by uh, Eric Coons. Um, yeah, this is um, our tear-down tables. You know, this is where we get most of the work done. You can see people over here, they're working on their furniture. You know, because it's not just, you know, uh, auto upholstery. You know, it's, it's marine, it's aircraft, it's furniture. You know, you can even do clothes if you want. Um, you know, and, and the startup cost for trim and upholstery, I mean, you, you can really make something out of yourself just by taking this one three months class. There's Max uh, Mercedes over here. We did the convertible top on, um, completely replaced it. Um, we also had a student, uh, Logan. Man, if only y'all could have seen it, what it looked like before. This seat was kind of torn up and, uh, and he, I think he did a, 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 a backrest bolster repair and then if you, oh, not really sure if you can really get in here, but maybe if you pan up, you can kind of see all the work that put went into this. You know, this was a, a three-day project with Max help. I don't remember what this came out of, but he's got the white welt cord, diamond stitch inserts, and uh, no foam shaping on this one. There's another seat, but I guess it, oh yeah, it's right in the bed. Um, so then we got the leather seat, same deal, only it's got um, double stitch diamonds. You know, it's a little bit different. We got to use the embroidery machine right here for this Ford logo. Just really quality piece right here. Two instructors' vehicles, all student work. Um, you can see the work he put in right here. Yeah, trim panels are not installed yet, but he got down some dyno mat. Um, yeah, this is Randy's project. He's over in, uh, in Chassis Fab. It's a fresh <laughs> leather, you know what I'm saying? I mean, nothing beats that. And so I'll take you over here. This is our woodworking area. Again, I mean, this, just this table is, I mean, this is like $15,000 stop saw. I mean, if this was running and I put my finger in here, blade would cut. I mean, it, the safety, you know, is, is a top priority here at WildTech. Um, and yeah, so whenever you start running, if you're, if you're cutting anything, this turns on first, you know. Keeps the mess away, keeps the debris away. So we got our glue table, you know, probably the only chemical you're really gonna deal with. And, you know, a lot of people come in here, myself included, when you go to spray paint, you're spraying, you know, you're right there. When you go to spray glue, you need to be back here. And that's something, I mean, it was kind of a learning curve. You know, it's something you had to get adjusted to. We got our supply table right here. So we have all of our scrim foams, all of our um, um, cardboard. And then here's our templates we use. So, you know, you're gonna come in here and your second phase, you're gonna make a set of visors. Again, like everything has to be next to perfect to pass. I mean, they're, they're, they're making sure you are extremely dialed in. Well done in trim and upholstery. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. And you come over here, I mean, this is what you'd see in your typical trim shop. Um, you know, you're gonna have a customer come in here and they, they tell you all about the estimating. They tell you about actually, you know, getting down to the nitty gritty, what are you doing in your shop? So you come over here I and mean, you get all your fabrics or your carpets, or your vinyls, your leathers. Um, customer finds something they like, you make an order. Say, yeah, bring your car in whenever it's there and you're good to go. Um, going back to the trim panel, this is one of our uh, second phase comps. So you custom fabricate a trim panel. All this you make yourself. You do the hand rolled binding, you do the single fold binding, um, you do a pleated insert. Um, this, is, this is leather actually, this armrest, um, with a single reinforced right along the seam, um, everything. I mean, it's, it's just cardboard staples, but you know, it, it's like things like that you'd never know unless you take this class. I mean, this class is so valuable, it's just, it's ridiculous. Um, 
I can't praise this class enough. I mean, this is going to take me places that I never thought I could go. I mean, I, I, I went through high school and all, you know, all my friends, they're going to college, you know, they're spending four money, you know, four years, a lot of money, you know, money they most likely won't make back. It costs like startup costs for a sewing machine, you know, trim table, it's, it's all in, you're about ten to $15,000 and you can start your own business. I mean, that's a business loan that you can take out while you're young. Um, you know, I, I really don't have anything else to say about this class. This class has just been phenomenal. And H and Mac, I mean, Mac won't be here too much longer, so this is really the time to hop on. Um, but I mean, this is this is the show. You know, this is the best trim school in the nation.